Let's bring in our Luke Clary now. He's been going along for tonight's survey. Luke, we know it's still early in this process, but what can you tell us so far? Well, Laura, we spent some time with volunteers engaging with the folks who live in encampments along freeways, under overpasses like the one behind me, different places around town. These volunteers have been working to get a head count of people experiencing homelessness in the area, taking surveys and hearing people's stories. Small groups like the one we followed tonight make up the some 800 volunteers deploying all over the county to get this point in time count of people living on the streets. Now, our group included the director of California's Department of Housing and Community Development, who tells me that this work is critical to understanding one of our state's most daunting challenges. People, you know, they have, they're going to spend the night uh, under this rain. Uh, and it's just tragic, but it's also a reality check of the extent of this problem and how much people need to support uh, the types of services that are around these people to, to, to get them out of the situation. And the point in time count helps inform federal, state, and local decisions about how to allocate resources to better address homelessness. One thing that I observed tonight, compassion plays an important role in all of this. Many of the people experiencing homelessness appreciated this opportunity to talk about their life and how they ended up in this situation. And the volunteers, listen, we'll have more on this story for you tonight at 11 on Late News Tonight. But for now, back to you, Laura. Yeah, Luke, they're not done yet. Still a lot of work to do. Thank you. This is the first of two nights for this count, which includes the entire county. And volunteers are also deploying from centers in Elk Grove, Rancho Cordova, Folsom, and Citrus Hill.